decay chains. What I mean by decay chain? Decay chain, when we have a radioactive decay of an unstable isotope, for example, here we have an unstable isotope A, decays to another unstable element, okay? And this unstable element decays to, uh, finally, to a stable element. We have many, uh, many sequences of uh, decays. Maybe you can have two decay chain. We can have three, four, 20, 100. It depends the elements. In this case, as we have uh, unstable element and stable elements here, we have two unstable elements. We put star here means that we have unstable element. And here we have C as a stable element. Okay, uh, initially we have the element A with a decay rate lambda A with a half-life T. The, uh, this element B, this element is feeded, betrazza, feeded, the number of B is uh, um, or increases from A, okay? A decays to B. A feeds B. B feeded by A. Anyway, uh, B element has a decay rate lambda B and a half-life Tb. At initial time, we have N zero element of A, of unstable radioactive element A, but we have zero element B and zero element C. The element uh, is only uh, at the position A. We have an element A. It was unstable. At the time T, we have N A number of unstable element A. We have N B element of unstable element B. And we have N C uh, T of stable element C. Here I want to calculate at each time N A, N B, and N C. You know, uh, let me explain the process. A decays to B. So A decreases because the unstable elements decreases with the time, and B increases. I said uh, A feeds B, and B feeded by A. Uh, in this case, we can write this expression of for A. You know, uh, we can say directly here, N A at a time t equals to n zero exponential minus lambda a times t is a decay uh, expression or law for the element a. Uh, and what about b? The, uh, the decayed uh, nuclei of a is r converted to b. So uh, this value lost by A is added to B, okay? The last, the last value of A is added to B. So delta NB divided by delta T equals to lambda A and A, the same value lost by A. Okay, here we have to know uh, delta N divided by uh, T or uh, lambda A and A is the activity. You know the activity is the number of uh, disintegration per unit time. This number uh, can be um, decreased or increased. In the case of A, this number uh, decreases. 
Okay, so we have negative. In the case of B, B, uh, this number increases, so we have to put positive. The same number is added to B. What about uh, B and C? B decays to C. So B decreases and C increases, okay? What about the total global view of A, B, C? In general, A, we have only a decreasing uh, process for A. For A, we have only a negative value of activity. What about B? B takes feed it by A and decays to C. So we have this one minus this one. Okay, so we get here a positive value of lambda A and A and a negative value of lambda B and B. What about C? C is positive because the number of st stable nuclei are increased or increases with the time. So we have a positive value. Here we have delta N, delta N C, okay, divided by T. So here we have the general expression of, uh, of A, B, and C. Uh, maybe you can have an example. Maybe C is unstable and we can have a new one here. Let's say D is stable. So here we can get uh, also lambda C and T C. And here we can have N D T. We can uh, solve the same problem. Uh, for example, N C is feeded from B and decays to D. In this case, we have, uh, we can say here, N uh, of C equals to uh, plus this value minus uh, this value, okay? Okay, anyway, let's go to the calculation of each term. So I want to calculate uh, each one. You know, uh, NAT equals to N0 exponential E, uh, uh, minus lambda at, uh, we take delta and b divided by delta b plus <laughs> lambda a and a minus lambda b and b times t. Okay, I want to solve it to calculate and b. Here uh, we can simplify this one. We get this one. Okay. Uh, now you know uh, to solve this. Uh, equation we multiply by exponential lambda bt. Here we have lambda bt, e lambda bt, and e lambda bt. Okay. If you look well here, uh, let's say we have a equals to exponential e bt, this one, and we have b equals to n b this one uh, delta the derivative of a b in terms of dt equals to a b prime plus b a prime okay if you look well here here we have a times b prime plus b a prime. This is a prime. 
So this one equals to delta of D AB divided by DT. Okay, so this term equals to delta NB E lambda BT divided by delta T. Okay, it's here. We uh, substitute the value here equals to this one. Okay, now uh, to calculate uh, this one, we can put delta T here and we do the integration of both sides. You know, we have the integral of dx equals to x. So nb uh, exponential lambda bt equals to lambda a and o uh, are constant. So we have n0 lambda a, n0 lambda a, and uh, the, integ uh, the integral of exponential x t equals to one over x exponential xt. Okay, so uh, here we have one over lambda b minus lambda a exponential lambda b minus lambda a times t plus constant. To find this constant, we take the initial value, the initial values at t equals to zero. You know, at t equals to o, we don't have n b, okay? We don't have any uh, unstable nuclei n b. Uh, so we don't have mb equals to O. Uh, we can calculate the constant, which is equal to N0 lambda A divided by lambda B minus lambda A times zero. This one, zero. Exponential, zero equals to one. Okay. You solve it. You calculate the constant here and you substitute its value again. You get the value of MB, okay? Equals to this one. You can solve it. You know here you have E lambda BT, you put it down, you put it here and you solve it, okay? Anyway. Uh, we get finally here NB equals to this one. Here we have N, NA, and I want to calculate NC. You know, uh, initially we have N0, and at the time T, we have NA, NB, and NC. In general, the summation of NA, NB, and NC equals to N0, okay, at any time. So, uh, we can calculate NCT equals to N0 minus NA minus NB. We can substitute the value of NA and NB. We put here NA and NB. Okay. Uh, we get finally, we can take a common factor N0 and this is the value of NC. We have NC in function of lambda A and lambda B. Okay, NA and NB. Now we can simplify the expression of NC. Look, uh, here we have NC. We can uh, solve it. We take lambda B minus lambda A and uh, uh, we can simplify to get the final expression of NC, okay? Uh, here, I want to analyze two points. First of all, what about NA, NB, and C? In the case, uh, if lambda A is larger than lambda B, okay? We have a small value of N of lambda b and a large value of uh, lambda a. What I mean, we have a large value of lambda a. It means the probability of decay per unit time of a is large. And uh, 
the decay probability of B is small. So we have a fast decay from A to B, and we have a slow decay from B to C, okay? So in general, you can say um, all the, all the uh, nuclei of A decay uh, quickly to B, and B decays uh, slowly to C, okay? It's like this. Now, what about the calculation? Uh, you know, if we have uh, lambda b is small, so lambda b equals to zero. Okay, we can say equals to O. And uh, if lambda a is larger than lambda b, so exponential minus lambda a is smaller than exponential of lambda b t okay so we can eliminate exponential lambda a here we get finally uh, n b t equals to n zero exponential minus lambda b t okay what i mean by this one i mean at a time t all the unstable nuclei of a are uh, or decay to B, okay? So the number of uh, B equals to the number of A, as we see here. NB equals to N0. All the initial value of unstable A decay to B. So B uh, takes place of A in this case, okay? Uh, we can say it means all the elements in A decay to B, but B decays slowly to give C, okay? At initial time, we have uh, A unstable element, and after a long time, all the elements of A decay to B, and we have a small value of C of stable C or we have nothing. If we have a long lifetime, uh, uh, B decays slowly to C or B decays slowly to C. What about C? You can uh, substitute the value of, uh, look here, uh, lambda B is small. So this one equals to O. Okay, uh, E minus exponential lambda AT equals to O. So this one equals to O. We get finally N zero minus N zero exponential minus lambda B T. Okay because here we eliminate lambda A and lambda A. And this one equals to lambda uh, NB. So we can say NC equals to N0 minus NB. Okay? Or we can say directly, you know NC equals to N0 minus NA minus and B. After a long time, in general, we have nothing at A, okay? And C equals to N0 minus and B. The second uh, point, in the case where lambda B is larger than lambda A. It means we have a fast decay from B to C, and we have a slow decay from A to B, okay? Yeah, each time we have a, a, a decay from A to B, B decays fast 
quickly, fast to C. You can say uh, at B, uh, uh, we don't have a unstable nuclei because uh, they are uh, decayed quickly to C, okay? Uh, so if lambda B is very big, lambda A is very small, so exponential minus lambda B T is small. So lambda A equals to O, we get here the value of lambda B is, uh, if we have a large value of lambda B, this one is big, so NB is small. So in the case of large value of lambda B, we have a small value of NB. We can say we have nothing at B. We have a transit, a fast transit between A to B. Okay. Uh, in this case, we can calculate the activity of each step. For example, uh, for the element A, we can calculate the activity, which is equal to lambda A and A. We can, uh, we have an A equals to N0 exponential minus lambda A T. And uh, uh, lambda B and B, also we can put N B, which is equal to N0 and uh, this one, okay? Just uh, you can calculate the activity of each term uh, by substitute, uh, you can substitute the value of NA and, and NB in the relation, in the expression of uh, the activity. Here, uh, I want to calculate the number of stable nuclei. Okay, before we calculated the unstable nuclei, N is the number of the unstable nuclei. At any time, N zero, the total number of unstable nuclei will be divided to stable, uh, to stable and prime and unstable N, okay? At any time, we can have some element are stable and we have another elements are unstable. Stable and unstable. Uh, N0 is the unstable nuclei at T0. NT, unstable nuclei at time T. And N prime T, uh, the stable nuclei at time T. We can calculate n prime, which is equal to n zero minus n t. We substitute the value of n t here. We take a common factor, n o. We get here the value of uh, n prime t, the number of stable nuclei n prime. Listen, here I plot n in terms of time, the unstable nuclei, uh, you saw this uh, curve before, decreases fast with the time. In the same time, these unstable nuclei decay to stable nuclei, okay? We have a decreasing of unstable nuclei and increasing of stable nuclei. The curve of stable nuclei will be like this. Each time we decrease the unstable, we increase the stable. This is the line of stability, and this is the line of instability, okay? The number of stable and unstable. Here you have a very important point. Uh, N prime T, the number of stable, you know, each element decays to Y plus a particle. It can be beta plus, beta minus, alpha particle. We have alpha particle. 
if we count uh, the number of particles must be equal to the number of stable nuclei. You know, here we have unstable, here we have stable. The number of unstable equals to nt at the time t, and the number of stable nuclei equals to n prime t. And each time we have a new unstable nuclei or new stable nuclei, we have one emitted particle. So we can calculate experimentally the number of stable nuclei by counting, by detecting the number of particles, emitted particles. Okay? So NR uh, is the number of the emitted particles can be uh, calculated experimentally. And N prime T is a number of stable element. You can you have to know for each uh, each time we have a new stable element, at the same time you have a new emitted particle. Okay?